How you doing? It's Sean O'Brien again with 2A Guys and Gear, and today we're going to do a review slash test um, review on the Blunt Force Trauma Belt made by Lenwood. Yes, this is a really cool product. Uh, Jason over at Lenwood developed this belt buckle and belt system, I guess, uh, as a defensive tool. Right. So the reason he, he kind of came up with this idea was for states where you can't carry a firearm, uh, buildings that you can't carry a firearm or a weapon into things of that nature. So he still wanted people to have a uh, option for defense. Right. So he came up with this. And basically what it is, it's a real sturdy belt, obviously, and it's a six ounce stainless steel belt buckle. Right. I, so, and it's it's a heck of a defensive weapon. Yeah, um, you can get it in three different um, colors. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that the regular, uh, just dull looking stainless and then brushed and black. Yep. And then, of course, you can get it with any of their belt options as well. So right. we have it on our hybrid belt, which we right. did a review on in the past, and we'll link to that down below. And this setup, like you see, it, this is kind of their top tier, if you want to call it that. Right. It was 100 bucks. so everything else is a little bit less than that. And honestly, I don't think 100 bucks is too bad, considering you can actually go just about anywhere with a good defensive tool. You right. Know? He, um, he also did a video where he shot it yes. with 9 millimeter. Yep. And it, to me, well, looking at the video, it didn't even phase it. Right. Um, they smashed, a, he started out smashing a watermelon and mm -hmm. then went to, I guess he was at the, the junkyard and smashed the windshield and started smashing up the hood and fenders of the, of the car. Yeah, which, it was crazy. And yeah. it, it actually went right through a windshield, so, yeah. which blew me away. I had no, no idea that would happen. So um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put it through its paces today and we're going to uh, smash up a refrigerant can, a brick and a cinder block kind of see how it does right so. i figured if it smashes that or at least cracks that cinder block yep. it at least crack your skull <laughs> so i mean that's one positive <laughs> right that's true <laughs> so but yeah so let's get the camera repositioned and we'll uh we'll start a test yep all right stand by all right we're gonna give it a try and uh we're gonna start out with the cinder block let me see if i can get it to break mm a big old chunk out of it. Mm. Well, I don't think she's going to break, but uh, it definitely put a hurt on that brick. Not even marking the belt, really. Here we go. All right, well, broke that half um, after about, uh, what was that, about four swings? So uh, we're going to see if uh, I can break the other half, maybe less than the swings. It split it on that one. Mm. Yeah. All right, well, it definitely uh, broke it up. It. Two hits on that side. Yeah. All right, we're going to reposition the camera, and I'll set this other one up here. Okay, so here we go. I tried to uh, tried to break up the brick. This is a solid brick paver, and. Uh, the belt honestly didn't really do much. It took a couple of chunks out of the corner, but that's about it. And to be honest with you, I think I had more damage done to myself than the bricks. Uh, cut myself on the wrist when it came back and hit me, and I smacked myself in the shin. <laughs> and uh, so I was limping around a little bit, but that's all right. So it definitely works. So um, what we are gonna do though, is we're gonna try to break up this R22 can, see how many times we can hit it and get it to dent up. So here we go. All right, so here you go. There's four shots, two here, two here. And I'm actually really impressed on how well that did. So this is a cylinder, which obviously I'm sure you guys know it's pretty strong. So uh, it, it cleaned its clock pretty good. So definitely impressed. Um, I think the uh, Lenwood Blunt Force Trauma Belt is probably a great option for a lot of people, especially the guys like us that can't carry in our state. So uh, definitely recommend that you check them out at Lenwood.com. Like I said, they're about $100 on down. It's all U.S. made and high quality stuff. So check them out. Appreciate you guys watching and please subscribe.
Thanks.